single-stage compressor. It has only one piston and cylinder and compresses the air in only one stage. A single-stage compressor typically has a compression ratio of 5 to 1 with an output pressure of about 50 to 75 psi. As air is compressed, it becomes increasingly hot. If the air becomes too hot, not only is the compression cycle less efficient, but there is the hazard of an explosion if any hydrocarbon material, such as oil or lubricant, comes into contact with the overheated air. To avoid the hazards of overheating and still generate higher pressures, manufacturers make compressors with multiple stages. The air is compressed in the first stage, which is typically the largest stage, then cooled, then compressed in a second stage. The hot compressed air from the first stage is conducted to the second stage through thinned tubing which is exposed to the air from a flywheel fan. After the air is cooled within the tube, the compressed air enters the second stage to be compressed even further. The compressed air entering the second stage is sometimes called supercharged air. Two-stage compressors have a compression range of 3 to 1 or even less per stage, but can operate up to 175 psi. They can also deliver more air at a higher pressure than single-stage compressors of the same horsepower. If pressures of more than about 175 psi are needed, multi-stage compressors should be used. On these larger compressors, cooling may take place by circulating water instead of air. To reach a pressure of 2,500 psi, as many as six or seven stages may be needed with cooling between each stage. Their versatility makes compressors one of the primary components in air production.